Welcome back to another video. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a data store and edit the data store using um, a data store editing GUI that you can create in Shard GUI. So the first step is insert a script into service script service and then let's just rename this to data store just like that. And now we have to call the data store. The, we have to get the data store service. So let's just do local local data data store service equals game colon get service data store service colon get data store and let's just name this coins data now that we have that we can add a player added function so if we do game dot players dot player added connect function and then in here we have to pass the player we just type player just like that so now when a player is added, um, this player variable right here will basically be the player that was added. Now we have to insert a folder into the player. So let's do local folder equals instance dot new folder and then put a comma and put player. Now it will make a new folder every time a player joins and it will put it in the player. Let's just name the folder to uh leader stats it has to be named leader stats just like that leader stats is like that or it won't work and then now let's insert a uh, integer value into that folder so local value equals instance dot new int value and then folder and then let's change the name of the value to coins uh this value can be named whatever you want to name it. You can name it like, uh, like you can literally just put the word anything and it'll still work. That'll just be the name of the thing that, you know, is your data store. And then, yeah. So now when you join the game, it sh you should have a little data store thing next to your name. My bad, I forgot to add the equal sign right here next to name so it wasn't working. But now, when you load in, it should have the coins value right next to your name. So let's just see. Yep, right here. Shows my name, and then shows the amount of coins I have, which is zero. And now, you can set those coins to how much you want. So, like, you can just do value dot value equals 500, and then you have 500 coins. But right now, we're just going to keep that at zero. Now, to start making the menu... To edit your data store, the first step in replicated storage, insert a remote event and just name this edit coins, just like that. And then in start a GUI, you want to insert a screen GUI, just name this coins editor, just like that. And let's say insert a frame. Let's set this frames offset to zero and scale it up just like this i'm not gonna put much work in this gui i'm just gonna make it simple now let's add a text box this will be the amount of coins we want to send so you can put that in there and then let's add a text button and then this will basically add the coins so Insert a local script name as text button and type this script.parent that mouse click neck function. And now we have to fire this remote event, sending the information that we want. So we do game that replicated storage that edit coins fire server. And then now we put script.parent.parent.text .parent box dot text. And like we said, the text box is the amount of coins you want. So now when we click this it'll fire the event so now if we go back into our server script and we do game dot replicated storage dot edit coins dot on server event connect function the first the first parameter is always going to be the player the player who sent it and then in this script the second parameter is obviously going to be the amount of we want so let's just name this amount just like that and now we can just do player dot leader stats dot 
coins dot value plus equals plus equals basically just adds it and then uh actually no, we can just set it to the amount so just do equals equals which basically actually no, just do one equal which basically changes the value equals amount just like that so now when we play the game we should be able to edit our coins all right so right now we have zero coins if i type 100 in this box and click this my coins should go up to 100. i can type any amount i want just like that 9.9 .9 million any amount it it, it automatically it will eventually cap your coins so like if you put big number it'll just set it to zero so i think 999 billion is the most you can have and yeah so that's basically the simplest way to create a data store and edit it using a gui